It's always hard to get laughs because people do get offended, and I hate to offend. It's just a gift I have. It is. <laughs> it is. Because I was in Wales, and um, I told, I, said, I love the fact people in Wales, you love your kind of terrorism, don't you? About 100 years ago, they used to put bombs by the sewers, by the rivers, and whenever English dignitaries would come, they'd shower, no one would die, they'd just shower them with sewage. I said, it's great to be in the home of suicide bombing, okay? And, <laughs> you know, and people got offended because you, you come here with your suicide bombing joke. I used to do jokes about suicide bombing. I'd say, you know, I say, you know, there are now suicide bomber schools now. I mean, how does that even work, you know? Where's your bag? <laughs> oh, I left it on the bus. Well done, house point. <laughs> but I will say this, ladies and gentlemen. I will say, all this ethnic stuff that people do, it's had its time. It's time to move on. But the Kenyan president is called Wacky Backy. And that is funny shit. <laughs> Look it up on Wikipedia. Kenyan President Wacky Backy. But the BBC news presenters refuse to call him Wacky Backy because it's, an, it's, a, it's a euphemism for marijuana. So they say, today, the Kenyan president, Mweke Beke, <laughs> arrived in London with his foreign secretary, Mr. Hugespliff, and his Minister for Interiors, Mr. Afansi and Mars Bar. <laughs> and also his wife, Mrs. Agati Munchies, where is the fridge? <laughs> I love young people. You know, I was, I was on a long haul flight once. Uh, I was flying about a 10 hour flight. There was a young person sat next to me. I thought, well, we haven't had a chat. It's two hours in, I might have a quick chat. I said, hello, do you want to have a quick chat? It might make the time go by quicker. She went, Sure, what do you want to talk about? And I said facetiously, why don't we talk about Iran's nuclear weapons program? <laughs> and she goes, all right then. And she put down her crayon. <laughs> she goes, well, before we do that, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. She goes, when a horsey does a poo-poo, it comes out in long tubes. And yet when a sheep does a poo-poo, it comes out in little pellets. And yet when a cow does a poo-poo, it comes out in flat, round pats. Why is that? <laughs> I said, that's actually a very good question. I've got no idea. <laughs> he says, well, how do you expect me to talk about Iran's nuclear weapons program when you don't know shit? <laughs>